Hi, my name is Juan uh, Davis. I am a producer of uh, uh, public new media, uh, actually for PBS station around the United States. And um, I have to say I was appalled by the documentary Growing Up Online produced by one of the most trusted uh, voices of in, in investigative uh, journalism here in the United States. Um, what I was hoping was a serious discussion on online culture uh, and the use of online um, and social networking and online technologies by youth, uh, uh, which was I, I was very excited, ended up being just another rehashing of these hot topics that you know have been abundant in you know um, our very conservative news media. Um, online predators, uh, bullying, sex, uh, suicide even. Uh, and even though these things have happened, uh, the cases that, um, that have been taken over uh, by the media and sort of magnified uh, really uh, don't allow anybody out there except for a few of us that are working in the field uh, to be able to actually see the the potentials and the amazing work that is being done and the amazing use that is, that is being given by online media and online technology by youth teachers educators, um, um, you know this sort of it's a throwback to um, you know the times when a new technological development such as you know film photography uh, even rock and roll uh, appeared and all of a sudden those who supposedly knew what our culture should and should not do uh, demonized these forms of expression and uh, this this media uh, as corruptive and um, I feel uh, very strongly that this is the the exact angle that the producers of Growing Up Online took. Uh, and um, it's a shame. I hope that they have the courage to go back and do a part two of Growing Up Online and actually show us a little bit more balanced view of uh, what this online culture is sort of about. Uh, because there's a lot of participation, a lot of collaboration, and for the first time, a lot of learning that is occurring online with kids and by kids that we don't even come close to understanding.